Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hola Truck and we are playing Hearts of Iron 4 together as the Germans on veteran difficulty. Welcome back, in the last episode we took Slovenia. Um, if I have a look into the state's view, mm, it's just that little state down there. But it gave us some more, some more factories, uh, it should have at least. Yeah, at least some, some more military factories, so we're producing the tilt artillery a bit faster. We need even more tungsten now. Uh, we could invite Italy to our faction. I'm not going to. <laughs> you really don't want to be bogged down by them. Uh, let them do their thing. Um, I'm thinking we might actually invade them at some point. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're only two days away from getting the advanced machine tools, um, which is going to push up our cap. We're also going for the self-propelled artillery, already only less than 100 days away from getting that. We're going to bring up the speed again. And yeah, things are going things are going well. I like it. Need more resources. I'm not sure where I get the planes. Oh, stop that. Okay. So we get 15% production efficiency cap. Um, now, what to do next? We got that one. This is a bit far away. I, it still might be worth to get it. I mean, really, the sooner we get that, the better. But I think I'll go for that one because we get another... We've got two bonuses for construction, right? So if I go for that one, we can actually use the additional speed um, to get our constructions done faster. So I'm gonna just gonna commit this one slot to the construction techs and to go after them bit by bit. We really need to, to up our construction game. We're gonna have a bad time. We're doing fairly well on, on oil and on, on rubber. Actually, we could, we could dial down our, our oil agreement so let's just go down to the amount we need. What else do we have plenty of? Well, the rubber surplus is all right. We still need some tungsten. What well, West tungsten missing for the medium tanks? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. I guess I'm going. I guess I'm going for the tungsten. Why? Why not? Why not? We need it. Definitely need it. I'm gonna take it from the Soviet Union. Um, let's just up that. And then we're still better off than we were before. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't want that. Italy, do your own thing, but don't annoy me further. Attack me if you want to. <laughs> I, I relish the chance of fighting you. <laughs> Um, yeah, we, we might have to invite them at some point, depending on how our Eastern interests go, but I, I want to keep those things for myself. And I fear that Italy would bog me down. Republican Spain is near winning the, um, the Civil War, which tends to happen fairly often. I haven't seen, um, I haven't seen Nationalist Spain win in quite a while, if, uh, if I don't help them. But I certainly have better things to do now. Um, this is quite a bit away. I think what we want to do is go for some support battalions. So one of the most important support battalions that we can have is the field hospital, because that gives us um, a trickle back effect, um, which basically lets losses return to the manpower pool and also reduces the experience loss that we take from casualties, because we have to refill our divisions and that reduces the experience of overall that they have. So having that can actually help you maintain a bigger um, fighting power. They need quite a bit of motorized units, but it's definitely worth it for all but the biggest nation. I mean, the Soviet Union and China, uh, and to a certain extent, the US can, can throw manpower and bodies on the problem without any problems, but we need the field hospital. We need it for our infantry divisions. So we're gonna go after it, even though it takes a long time. We definitely want that. Um, and we got the concentrated industry. Um, 
knowing what I know now, I might have gone with the dispersed in industry, but I basically want to build up my my factory output faster. Uh, that would reduce our bomb vulnerabilities, but yeah, oh well. <laughs> Um, there's something to be said for that for the dispersed industry certainly what Germany went for in uh, historically Now I could go for that one. That's still a bit off. We need to deal with the decryption and uh, The encryption because we're, go we're going to look badly if we don't have that. I Think I should go for radio to get the radar gonna look bad if we don't have that and the other support unit that I want is um, the signal company because that increases the initiative um, of a division and I want that for my panzers. So that's going to be good. Um, so yeah, let's go for radio. Is there anything else that I'm missing? Something that I desperately need? We're already going down the Blitzkrieg uh, line. Oh yeah, the improved artillery. That's something that we could use. It's definitely something that we could use. Um, yeah, we're going. We're going to go for that. That's good. I mean, we're only using them in support units, so it's not that important. But you can't have old artillery. Oh yeah, and by the way, I need to change the infantry equipment I'm I'm building now to the better type. That needs to happen. Also need more more production capacity directed that way. I need more production capacity for everything, basically. <laughs> what if I could get that done? Just push that up. And we also need to start producing more support equipment again. Gonna have a bad time if we don't do that. So let's push up these guys as well. Um, they're not as important as of yet. Don't have a desperate need for them. We will just go down to three for each. And the total artillery, we are slowly working towards what we need. Uh, we've got a lot of um, leopards stored now, 1.6k. That is good. We're gonna need a huge amount to give all our infantry units um, panzers. Because that is that is the plan. Um, I've shown that in the last um, episode. We want to increase the hardness of this unit by getting rid of three infantry divisions, and instead of that, going for a light tank here, and then two self-propelled um, artillery units. Okay, so we're done with the armored spearhead. Basically, want I want to go down this tree all the time. We always need to go and research one of them. Because that increases the organization of our tanks and the organization is what helps your units to keep attacking so we definitely want that we don't have many tanks yet but we're getting there we're getting there don't worry um yeah, we still need a crap ton of medium tanks um uh, we also need a good amount of mechanized i think the proportion is about right between those we definitely need to start the production lines for the uh, Hummel. Gonna bring up the speed again. Uh, want to want to go to war at some point. <laughs> but first, I'm trying to get as much land as I can without any sort of war. I could fabricate claims on some of these eastern countries, but uh, that will only induce the United Kingdom and France to guarantee them. So. That's certainly not a great idea. Um, and yeah, I've basically decided to ignore the Air Force by now. Because we won't really be able to make a dent into the British Air Force. At least not for now. So we're going to do what historical Germany did. I'm going to try and take out France after we've taken, after we've taken Poland. Uh, basically taking Belgium and the Netherlands in that process and then we're gonna leave the United Kingdom be and go eastwards <laughs> um, not necessarily against the Soviets at first first I want to I want to eat these guys and Romania and Bulgaria maybe even Turkey I'm not sure because that would open up the more oil 
and another attacking venue against the Soviet Union. So that could be interesting. Um, going down towards um, finishing off um, Yugoslavia. Gonna get the fate of Yugoslavia soon. Uh, what we could do is we could fabricate against Hungary. These guys are so far on the right that no one is going to guarantee them. But yeah, it might not be necessary. Lots of construction coming along. Doing well. Um, definitely should queue up these guys. Over here. Oh, Lower Austria has been built up pretty far. Why haven't I queued up that? That's odd. But, oh well. Guess that's alright. So. Yeah, we, we want to build more more military factories. Yeah, I, I know why why that is, because we increased the cap. We increased the cap of factories in a in a state with the last tech. So that freed some space. That's alright though. We're getting there. Definitely working towards getting more military factories in. We can build them really fast now as well. And uh, Going for the construction up here, and after that we're going to go for increased construction speed. I could also swap one of these guys out. He's already increasing military fa factory construction speed. We might not need the military power gain guy anymore. Converting civilian factories to military factories might not be the way to go. Um, the Prince of Terror we don't need. No, I think we are... I think we are alright. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna get the first Ljubljana. Okay, so now we... We've basically split up... Um, put part of um, Yugoslavia to the surrounding states. Gonna go for fate of um, Yugoslavia. The Yugoslav state was always an artificial construct, and central authority has started to collapse. We must step in to restore order. The only question we face is what would be the best way to do this. Yeah, let's go with that. So you can see that we gave a lot of the surrounding territory to our friends, to Hungary, to Italy, and to Bulgaria. And I guess it's going to be all right. Um, yeah, I need to, <laughs> I need to advance. How are you? You don't really need to exercise anymore. What about you guys? Yeah, you're just waiting for the artillery. Okay then. Um, yeah, we can't stop the exercise and we're losing more and more equipment for basically nothing. I think we're going to send them to the, to the western front here. Just waiting for the self-propelled artillery, the Hummel. Definitely need to, to push hard towards getting that. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Construction in one day, okay. So, got that. And now we're going to go after that one. It's 240 days. Um, but I think it's going to be well worth it to get that, because we... Yeah, we need to push. We really need to push. Constructing stuff. Uh, we do have enough political power to change one in the government, but I want to keep my political power for the fate of Yugoslavia. We need some political power to do stuff um, in that event. That's certainly something that needs to happen. Um, two days. Two more days and then we get our self-propelled artillery. Come on. All right, very good. Um, so we got that guy. And uh, should we go for anti-air over here? We're not producing any anti-air, I have to remedy that as well. 
Are we going for the radio already? No, we aren't. Why aren't we? Hmm. Just thinking about something to research now. What would be the best course of action? I mean, the logistics company is nice, using less supply, but it's not going to be relevant for a long time. I think we're going to go for the radio. Could also go and research the tiger, but it's it's way ahead of time, and we don't really need it. Mm, we're researching that. Air Doctrine. We do have some focuses to go towards that. I think we're going to go for the radio. Radio is good. Let's do the radio. Um, oh yeah, and we need some production lines. So the total artillery is progressing. I don't want to reduce that, but we certainly need some more um, production lines for the self propelled artillery over here. So let's go for one. Let's go for two. I think we're going to go for three of them. Push them up to the top. And we definitely need at least 10 factories for each of these lines. It is something that needs to happen inevitably. Just a question of how to free that up. Um, I'm not going to cut down on the medium tanks. That is what we need for our Panzer armies. Yeah, can't really do much here. Yeah, we just we're going we're going to go get some factories if we go after Yugoslavia. And yeah, I guess I could pick on the infantry equipment. <laughs> I shouldn't really. The towed artillery. Guess we're going to get there even without that. Where did that appear? Come on guys. That's weird. Okay, that should have given you some at least. We really really need to get going, but I can actually change our infantry divisions now uh, in the way I wanted it. So we're gonna remove you, remove you, remove you. You basically always want to stay with um, 20 combat width <clears throat> because the base combat width is 80. And then you get 40 for each additional direction um, that you attack from. So um, let's let's say, for example, that um, we would attack um, this army with these guys, right? Would attack that division. So we get a, a base of 80 um, combat width. And then we would send these guys in. Um, and that would add another 40 combat width for that direction. If we were to attack from that direction as well, it would add another 40. Um, but the thing, the reason why I go for 20 instead of 40 or 80 um, for my infantry division, of, for all of my divisions uh, combat width, is basically um, that the smaller div the divisions, the more support units you have in a battle. So if I had just one huge infantry division with a size of 80, which you can do, then you only can have um, five support units, five support battalions in one battle, right? Because it is using all the 80 combat width. Um, uh, instead, if I had four smaller divisions with 20, we would have uh, 20 support battalions as well in that battle instead of five. So you're basically uh, quadrupling the amount of support um, battalions um, that can be in the fight, right? I'm going to duplicate this. And uh, this is just going to be our garrison. Uh, no, we're going to call this Garnison Truppe. And these guys are reserves, and I don't really care about them. Okay then, so we got we got them, and now we're going to change our our real infantry division by 
yeah, basically getting rid of these guys. Each of them has two combat width, as you can see. Um, infantry does have a high amount of organization. Now we're going to go for armored uh, because we're going for a completely new group. We're going to pay 25. And uh, now let's go for light tanks. And then we'll go for medium self-propelled artillery. And these guys add three. So you can see that we normal panzers add two to the combat width, but these guys add three. So we can add two of these medium uh, self-propelled artillery and we end up at, uh, at a combat width of 20, which is just what we want. Um, we definitely want the recon company on these guys. Um, because that is that is pretty useful. Um, let me just think about this. So if we go for anti-air and for the recon, then I will have one left. I'm gonna have one left for the field hospital. Is that what I want? I think so. Yeah, I think so. The problem is that the anti-air, they, they don't take um, attacks of opportunity, so they won't just randomly shoot at a plane that flies above them, but they are only going to fight um, planes that actually attack them. So their use is a little bit less than what I would like. And we could certainly think about going for a signal company. But the recon company is definitely incredibly useful signal company over support anti-air i don't think so what are these guys giving us they're reducing our organization but they give us way more defense um bit more soft attack bit more hard attack a lot more reconnaissance which is really useful increases the chance that this unit can pick better tactics in battle so that's kind of important um, reduces the armor yeah I think we want to take them and we also want the anti-air use, it uses a bit more supply and is more difficult to organize the unit but we're definitely going to be better off and as you can see um, we gain 20% hardness from this um, from this move and that basically means that we only take 80% of the soft attack and instead take hard attack damage. But uh, as you can see, hard attack damage is way lower than soft attack. And especially against um, these smaller countries in Eastern Europe and also against the USSR that are mainly based on infantry, we're gonna be better off. And we're gonna have a huge amount of soft attack through our self-propelled artillery. So I think this is the way to go. Let's let's save it. And then we can see what we need. <laughs> Missing equipment production. Yes, I know. We need some anti-air um, ASAP. So let's go for that. Um, we need the anti-air basically because I am not going for for the air support that I that I could. I could do that. Now let's see what we're missing. So 1.8k total anti-air, 500 artillery, that's fine. We're going to get there very, very soon. Mm, that is from deployment, but we still got a fair amount of that. We're missing 2.6k in light tanks. Yeah, if you remember, we were at about 2, 2k light tanks. Okay, and then we're missing 3.6k medium SP artillery. That shortage will last 11,000 days. Well, that that will go down significantly. Um, well, yeah, I think I think things are looking good. That that infantry division, um, if we get the um, if we get the field hospital as well, will be one force to be reckoned with. And that is what we want. I am. Um, I have to rely on them at least for a bit. We're gonna have our Panzer armies as well to make the breakthrough as strategic points. Um, for example, against Poland, I would definitely, I mean, Poland is in a really 
bad situation now, tactically, because they have a huge front line that they can't really defend and we can attack from multiple points. But uh, I, would, I would go for one Panzer Division down here, or for one Panzer Army down here, um, basically cutting upwards over here. One Panzer Army over here, cutting eastwards, and one Panzer Army over here, cutting towards Warsaw. And then the rest of the infantry divisions can just, um, yeah, move over there. That's going to be fine. Uh, we definitely need to increase that army over here to hold the front line against the, the poles at, at some point. Uh, but yeah, I guess I have to end it here. So um, if you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, then um, please consider subscribing if you aren't already. I hope you join me next time when we will try to decide the fate of Yugoslavia and we will try to get our production up and running. And then the day of decision is definitely drawing nearer. We want to take the east. Uh, we want our old lands back. We want um, Danzig back, or Gdansk, as it now as it is now called. And uh, yeah, we need um, Lebensraum, <laughs> living space for our people. It is actually was actually kind of an absurd idea to uh, say that you need living space because the German Reich was. Uh, way more sparsely populated than it is now, uh, than, than Germany is now, and we're still doing fine. We don't have any need for Lebensraum at all, but oh well, that's, that's the kind of ideological bullshit that you get. But yeah, hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye bye.